This is one of the weirdest products I've ever looked at, and possibly the future of guns. It's called the Coil Accelerator, and it's from a company called North Shore Sports Club. Instead of gunpowder to push a projectile downrange, it uses electricity. Instead of normal bullet, it uses these discs as the projectile. On the surface, it looks somewhat similar to the FNP90, except it has a pick rail all the way down the top, skipping a beat for the charging port. There is an on-off switch on the front bottom, then you have the power and mode switches on the very front. On the top front, there is a small display that shows you the selected power level and shooting mode, as well as how many rounds it thinks you have in the magazine. Throw that mag in there and see if it shows how many shots. Twenty-five. So you got twenty-five on a side. So you have to. You must have to take it out. Yeah, you got to flip. flip it around. On top of that, it has a battery that they claim will work for up to five hundred shots. It sounds awesome, right? That sounds pretty cool. Also, this video is not sponsored, so get subscribed and watch all the way to the end to help a brother out. Enough of that, let's shoot it and find out if it's any good. The first thing you'll notice is the magazines are unique. They say that these are 50 round mags. Something I find a bit weird is that the manual says that this is a 50 round mag, but it only holds 25 in this side and then 25 in this side, and you can't just leave it in. You have to take it out and flip it around, which to me means that this is a double 25 rounder, and like calling it a 50 is, is kind of disingenuous to what's going on here. They are super easy to load though. It's really easy to load them. When you insert the mag into the gun, you get a round count on the display of 25. However, as we later figured out, that's not the most accurate. I, it says I've got 15 projectiles left. I'm just gonna try and hit them, just like kind of rapid fire and see how this thing handles it. Ready? Yep. Second round. <laughs> All right, into the, into the sort of uh, fluff at the bottom. Ready? Yep. So it now says zero. That That is, okay. This mag release is not good. Okay, That's so it, it is out. So it must uh, default to 25 no matter what. I don't know. Let's put one in and see. Like, yeah. Let's try it next time. But. We then discover the truth about the round counter on the display. It shows 25 rounds when you insert the mag no matter how many are actually in there. I figured maybe they thought of some, like, fancy switch to keep count. Nope. The mag could have 2 or 12. Doesn't matter. When you stick it in, the display will show you 25, which in my opinion is kind of lame. That's like, why bother? So we know that one of these sides on this magazine has 11 in yep. it. All right, go ahead. So this side says 25. He's pulling it out and flipping it around. Insert. Did it go all the way in? Yeah. It didn't even sound like it did anything. And it still says 25. Okay, so clearly there is not a round counter like we thought there was yeah, it just based defaults, on the magazine. Because it's a 25 round per side, so. Yeah. So right now it's showing 25 rounds, just put the mag in. So we're gonna fire five. Fire like a burst? Yeah. And then see what happens on yep. the count. All right, go for it. <laughs> okay, so that was one burst. So 20. It says right? it says 20 on the counter. All right, go ahead and so pull we'll the, drop mag. the mag. It says zero, and then 25. 25. Okay, that is almost useless. And just for fun. <laughs> the next thing you notice is that the projectile velocity on these things is not exactly fast. According to the manual, low power mode is 80 feet per second, medium is 115, and full power is 145 feet per second. Each disc weighs 275 grains, which is not bad. All right, so I'm at a higher frame rate here on the camera. We're going to try to see how it looks when they exit the muzzle. This is shotgun mode. Send it. I couldn't even see it with the naked eye. Do it one more time. Man, they are cooking out of there. Would I want to get hit with it? Not on full power mode, but is it lethal? That's debatable. And maybe in the like one in a million kind of thing, maybe. We started out with the default shotgun mode, which is a five round burst at 2,400 rounds per minute. Super fast and equally fun. So weird. Good. 
Yeah, Josh, how do you feel about this, bud? This thing, I feel like I belong in Starship Troopers right now. I'm doing my part. Yeah, I'm doing my part. <laughs> I'm doing my part. All right, uh, I guess just send it. All right. Oh! All right, that's pretty good. I missed it because you do it again because you were rocking and rolling there. Okay, that is so inaccurate. Yeah. Hold on. I mean, we're at what this is. So you're at about 25 yards from yeah. the target. So they're falling so, off. Do you want to move up? Uh, let me do single shots. See, see if you can get it on. Uh, good. Yep. Send it. I'm glad we put that thing up down there. So that's holding the top of the target frame. So it was close ish. Dude, you can hear him. You can hear him whistling. <laughs> this is so <laughs> weird. They are not flying accurately. That's for sure. All right, let's, uh, I got, I got 11 left and we're on auto. Let's... You're on auto. <laughs> All right, so this is 600 rounds per minute on auto. Let's see how this does. I see why it has a lower rate of fire. Yeah. Do, so is there any recoil at all? <laughs> what is it like? What does it feel like? It just feels like nothing. Like you hear the noise and that's it. This like, is, all right, I got to get a pull yeah. at this. I got to try this. Okay, so first of all, I think it's important to point out that uh, this thing smells like a horse farm. For whatever reason, the foam in the box smells like a freaking horse barn, right? It does. It does. I don't know why. I, I have no idea why. Like it, it just smells like stinks. straw and horses. Yeah, it stinks. All right, so I've got it on auto, and there's 25 in the magazine. So wait, did you flip it around? Or I, I did, yeah, okay. I flipped it. So it's flipped. I got 25 projectiles. I'm just going to send it. I'm just going <laughs> to send it, bud. Right there, bud. All right. So do I aim center? Like, what's, what's I was holding. Here? So if you hold top of the target frame, you're hitting like in the middle. Should we move up? I think we should move up a little bit. Okay. Let's move up. All right. So what do you think this is? Like 15-ish yards? Maybe? Uh, like, set, yeah, between 15 and 20. Okay. Here we go. You ready? Yep. Oh, that is weird. This feels like a freaking toy. They curve. I mean, it is. They curve. They yeah. do not. There is. Okay. I'm just going to send it. Ready? Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay. First of all, I, I love this thing. <laughs> like, this is, it is, it is wildly, wildly inaccurate. It, it, oh, my Lord. They twist and turn. There's no rotation put on these projectiles at all. However, this is an absolute riot. Let's go pick up, first of all, all of those projectiles and see if we can reuse them. But I need to shoot this it's a just, whole bunch more. It's fun. Yeah, this is, this is fun. First impressions were positive. Next, we had to set up some exploding targets for fun. We got some Dr. Thunder. Some uh, Thor soda. <laughs> all right, let's go put these down range. All right, so we're going to see if this thing has the energy to blow those up. He's kidding. You find one? Hey. All right, let's do it. Moving it over to semi. I kind of want to try on the lowest velocity. Okay, go Just for it. See. Let's see how slow it actually so is. Mid, there's men. All okay. Right. Uh, move up a little more. Oh, yeah, that's right. We got to move up because this thing is horrendously inaccurate. Wildly. <laughs> So there was a line. That's about all the further they were bouncing back on high. So we are, there is the line. And there are the targets. Okay, Josh. All right, let's go for the right one. <laughs> Minimum power. Hold on. All right, so target in half. Oh, that was pretty close. You might knock the can over. Oh, you hit it! It bounced off. So, are you uh, are you done with minimum power now? Yeah, let's let's go to mid. We're gonna go to mid and see if it'll pop the can. If you can hit it. Hey! I wasn't the one. That it was in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it popped pretty good. It Do did. you think it hit it uh, like flat? Like. It <clears throat> I couldn't really tell. Like, I was trying to watch the projectile, but I was watching the other can, so I don't know. 
<laughs> you don't know what happened? All right, let's see if you can break this one. All right, let's go up to, uh, let's go to max. Max power. That's got some stank on it. Hey! <laughs> it definitely hit it sideways. All right, let's uh, shut it off, I guess, and walk down. Yeah, let's go check it out. Not real. I mean, okay, you can't tell on that one. See if you can tell on the other one, because that one's got like an impact hole. Yeah, this one looks like it. It hit it sideways, you can see right there. <laughs> Hold on, let me make sure the viewers can see this. All right, what, what happened? So it looks like it hit it sideways. Oh yeah, you can see like you the perfect the circle. Like, circle on there. All right, it's my turn. Let's do it. So I'm gonna try for a little, uh, you know, carnival style where we stack <laughs> it in a little triangle. Let's see if I can curve it in there because it kind of flies like a knuckleball. Yeah. It's a little weird. The uh, high tech backdrop there. How many were we able? Did we recover them all? I think we got most of them. Yeah, I didn't. I, that would have been like 14, so that would be right. This is definitely on a downhill, so it may not stay. Hey, got it. Dr. Thunder. Got the triangle, here we go. Let's turn it back on. Down it, I don't know. So I'm gonna hold like high right of it, or high left, and try and hook it in the right in the middle. You ready? Yep. <laughs> got it. Well, you were on five round burst. I had no idea, so it defaults to shotgun Does it? mode. Okay. I was not prepared for that. Oh. Let's do what let's do another five round burst. You ready? Yep. That went past us. Yeah. That, uh, <laughs> hold on. Where's Okay, so it defaults to shotgun mode and maximum, so I'm gonna put it into semi-auto and we're back all the way away from it. The as Josh put it, the lone survivor of the cans is down there. I've got 25 projectiles. We're actually doing decent picking these up, which I'm kind of surprised about. Uh, got to put eyes on in case one of these comes apart, but let's try it. Let's see if we can get some uh, soda to pop from down. Hear it? Yeah. All right, so it's got a, a hard right hook on it. I'm holding about a foot left. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> We're going to try and get a shot so you guys can see just how much this is hooking. Oop. That one might be gone. These are wildly oh, accurate. It's not, it's not even it's not even hooking just right from this far back, it's which so, it's so They say the max cases. effective range is only how many feet? 40 like, feet. It's yeah. Said, but that was about 75 and I don't even think 40 would be effective. Yeah. All right, so where's our Okay, hang on. Wait. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's, honestly, this is one of the most fun things that I have in my possession, but it is kind of useless at the same time. It's a good conversation piece. Yeah, it really is, it really is. All right, Josh, what do you think of the coil accelerator? It's fun. There's no practical use, but that thing is fun. It's super inaccurate, right? Yeah, so it's it's like, at first we thought, okay, hey, it's just going off to the right, and then we started watching going right, left, high, low, but it's still, it's a novelty. It's just yeah. fun. Like, this is something sitting around a campfire at the cabin, like throw out some empty beer cans or some Bud Light and shoot it. <laughs> Specifically right? Bud Light, that's funny. So do you think this has any, like, relevance for the future of guns? I mean, there's a lot of... There'd be a lot of research going into it. I think it does to an extent, but they'd have to do a lot of research to, to get it to where it's applicable. I think they'd, they'd definitely have to stabilize the projectiles. Yep. That would be a big, big step forward. And I think it's cool that they're recoverable, that you can use them multiple times because yeah, we I mean, saved a whole bunch of them. We got all but like, what, a tube and a half back? And yeah. They're, they're down there. It's just digging through the dirt to find them, but... Um, the range too needs to be improved a lot. You mean barely 40 feet is not acceptable? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe for like, I don't know. For shooting soda cans, it's great. Yeah. Or like, yeah. 
I do I do really like the selectable modes. I think minimum mode is useless for anything. Like I don't even understand why yeah, that exists. Even even having like if you wanted to have your kids shoot this, there's no recoil, there's no felt recoil, there's nothing. Like there's no impulse. It's just you squeeze it and it happens. So like, why? Yeah. Just just do the max mode and, and call it a day. What do you think about shotgun versus as they call it shotgun? It says shotgun on the the gun itself. Yeah, but then and then. On this, it's like it says five round burst. So full auto, five round burst, and semi. Um, I like the five round burst, the shotgun mode, but the best. Like that rapid rate of fire. Yeah. Would you pay $1,600 of your own money for this? No. No, if they brought it down a lot, in per- like I would pay 500 Okay. I'd pay so 500 bucks. A for third that. of what they're asking. Yeah. And it's, <laughs> that's not to take away from their R&D because you're paying for R&D, but. I would pay 500 bucks for a novelty, not 1600 Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. There you have it. The North Shore Sports Club coil accelerator with two 25-round mags welded together. And to add to Josh's thoughts here, I think the MSRP of 1600 bucks they're just not going to sell at that price. This is a toy in its current configuration. Sure, the concept could be fun, like the future of guns, exploring that. It's really fun to see what's possible with electricity as opposed to gunpowder. But the screen doesn't match what the mags have in them, and it doesn't match the modes that it says in the manual, which is weird. The accuracy is horrible, and the range is just as bad. However, at the same time, the battery lasted for more than 500 shots, and that's cool. I like that. And because of our moving blanket technique, the projectiles weren't super hard to find. I'd love to hear what you guys think of this thing down in the comments. Is it a cool demonstration or a dumb toy or maybe something in between? Would you buy one at the current price? Sound off in the comments below. And of course, get subscribed if you want to see more gun reviews just like this. Check the links in the description. That always helps. See you soon.